my celestial friends. I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and today I'm going to take you along with me while I harvest a pumpkin from my garden. It's finally time to harvest. I can't believe it. I didn't even think I was gonna have pumpkins this year and now I have a ton of them and one of them seems ready. It sounds hollow when I tap on it and it's starting to get a pretty hefty stem. <laughs> You've been with me through it all. If you've seen the last video where I talked about growing my pumpkins, be sure to go check out that video. It's a little bit graphic, but you get to experience the entire life cycle of this pumpkin from pollination to beauty. So it is time for our pumpkin check. Let's see how I got my pumpkin up to this point. Wow, it really is turning orange. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's getting so, so big. I wonder how big this pumpkin will be by Halloween. It's all its glory. It's looking so authentic. Authentically pumpkin as well. I placed a piece of cardboard underneath each of the pumpkins to protect them. Because I read online that you don't want them to get too wet or be exposed to too much soil. This one probably doesn't have a soil exposure issue big on concrete, but I bet that's not great for it either, so hopefully these pieces of cardboard protect them. I might need to get bigger ones when they grow bigger because they do seem to be getting big rapidly, which is very exciting. Oh wow, okay. Now that is a full-blown pumpkin. Oh, it is gorgeous. It actually looks a little bit like a watermelon, honestly, but it is stunning with its little lines and speckles. Oh my goodness. And this one is hiding underneath some leaves, but it is positively huge for what it has been. It's continuing to turn that yellowy orangish color and it is just looking so good oh my goodness I wonder if I could identify what kind of pumpkin this is I'd love to find out I suspect these actually came from a pumpkin I had possibly a couple of years ago I'm very surprised that this whole plot popped up by itself, but here we are, and I'm just astounded and overjoyed to have these little pumpkin babies. And the new female pumpkin flowers haven't quite opened yet, but I'm awaiting them. Hopefully I'll catch them in time. Oh wow, look how fancy that little curly cue is. <sighs> There's just nothing more satisfying than checking on my pumpkins in the morning. <laughs> so today we've got a much bigger baby. It is pretty much its full little pumpkin self now. I'm sure it's gonna get bigger and probably more colorful, but it is looking very good. And let's see this one. Hmm, the leaf's not looking too good, but the pumpkin underneath, just wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely going to be an orange one, and quite large, I think, too. Hmm. 
look at those lines and all those speckles and colors. Ah, perfection. I like how it's hidden underneath this leaf as well. Keeps it a little bit safer, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at what we have here. That's right, that is a female flower. An actual female flower. We've got a couple that could have come to full term but didn't, but this one. This one is looking fantastic. So we've definitely got to fertilize this one. <sighs> Luckily we've got our choice of male flowers. I've since learned that you're really supposed to be a lot more gentle with these. Sort of paint it on inside and out. Just make sure the pollen gets everywhere and that they're fully covered. That should be good. And of course we want to do this with multiple different flowers because if one of them isn't any good anymore we want to make sure that it actually does pollinate the plant and produce a pumpkin. We don't want there to be any chance for failure. And there's always chances for failure, but we want to at least know that we did as much as we could. Now that looks nice and pollinated. Look at all that pollen. So to keep it safe, we're going to close it up with a clothespin. Perfect. Now hopefully no bugs or anything else will get to it and it can stay undisturbed and grow into a gorgeous pumpkin like the others. We'll check back soon and find out. I just can't get enough of this pumpkin. I think you could probably tell I am in love. That is all. So beneath this beautiful pumpkin flower lies our beautiful pumpkin. <laughs> it's looking good. It's definitely getting more yellow now. So I think that it might actually change color, but we'll have to wait and see. Now this one, this one has become a full and real actualized pumpkin in the time since we saw it last. It's a beautiful shade of orange. It has gotten quite humongous. It's just such a joy to see this one getting bigger and bigger. It is the embodiment of fall. And we've got some good news on the new pumpkin front as well. I do believe we were successful in fertilizing this pumpkin. Look at it. It's grown a little bit bigger, still looks rather healthy, and the safety pin is still holding its flower on. It's looking pretty good. I hope it keeps growing. I'd love to have another. And we have a few more future potential ones to look out for. Oh wow, wow, wow. I do believe this one may just turn orange as well. It's getting a little bit bigger. Still quite a small little pumpkin though. I love it. Ooh, red tomatoes. Look at this gorgeous orange pumpkin. This is what I'm talking about. It is glorious and beautiful. <sighs> I just cannot believe how lucky I am to have this beauty in my life. It's quite a bit bigger than the other one, which is kind of crazy since they were both pollinated on the same day, but that happens. And this one's gotten a lot of sun, but I love them both equally. 
All right, let's check on the others. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I did get a pumpkin. Yes. I'm so happy that the pollination worked. It's so cute. I'm gonna need to go and put some cardboard underneath it and I think the flower is spent. <laughs> but that is gonna be a nice looking pumpkin. Already got some little stripes on it and some speckles. Yeah. And oh my goodness gracious, do you see this? This one will probably open tomorrow. And it's not alone. <laughs> Look at this one. All right, well, I guess we'll be back potentially tomorrow. Just show you what ends up happening with these. I hope they open up. They're looking quite lovely. Ooh. <sighs> She's finally turning orange. She's still staying pretty small, but it's looking good. And I'm very surprised to say that this little baby is outgrowing its little cardboard piece that I put underneath to protect it. Might need to get a bigger one. <laughs> Exciting. And this one you can finally see from beneath the leaves because it's humongous. Okay, it's not really that big, but it's really big compared to the pumpkins I've grown before. So I am very, very enthusiastic. And just look, look at its beauty. Ah, it's just, it's just the most pumpkin. And looks like just as I suspected, female flower and female flower. So this is great news and we will have to fertilize those as well. But before we do that, let's not forget to look at this baby. Yes. It's amazing how quickly these pumpkins grow once they've actually been pollinated successfully. You know. <laughs> You know they've been pollinated because they just get a move on, which is good because it's starting to get very cold out. Right now I am kind of freezing to death. Not really, but um, for Georgia it's cold, which, you know, for most people anywhere else in the world would mean that they'd probably be in shorts and a t-shirt, but I am very cold and I hope my pumpkins do not mind the slight change of weather. We'll obviously be keeping an eye on them. Okay, now to pollinate the new flowers. Mm -hmm. All right, flower number one. Look at all that leftover pollen. Try to get that into a flower too. Now that looks nice and pollinated. So let's go ahead and close it up. Let's be very careful. It's a little bit raggedy, so we don't want anything to happen to the flower to compromise it. Beautiful. And now the other one. couple days if we were successful. <sighs> There's just something so satisfying and peaceful about hanging out in the garden in the early morning hours. I think I need a bigger garden. <laughs> Even more satisfying. Well it's been awfully cold lately so today we're gonna find out how the pumpkins have been faring through this sharp 
weather change. All right, this one looks to be doing okay. Not any bigger, but it seems to be holding up. It's certainly more resilient than I am. I'm freezing. And there is actually a surprise baby female pumpkin here that I did not notice before. I'm a little concerned that it might have already opened and closed, but we'll see. There's still, you know, potential. It's possible. I'd love to get a pumpkin on this side of the plot, although the rest of the plant around here is not the greatest looking. But our gorgeous large orange one is still thriving and that's what counts. This one's looking good. What are the pumpkins supposed to sound like when they're ready to harvest? Let's see. I don't know if that's a healthy ready to be picked sound or not. I think I need to do some research. Let's check on, oh, here's our tinier pumpkin. That one's coming along well, looking very youthful and healthy. And the ones we just pollinated recently, I just don't know. I'm not sure about this one. I was pretty sure it was pollinated, but I'm not sure it's gonna make it. Having gotten any bigger, but that might be because of the extremely cold weather. <laughs> but this one, this one does look bigger. This one has gotten some speckles on it too. So, you know, I have high hopes. I think these may be a smaller breed of pumpkin, honestly. They don't seem to be growing any bigger, although this one has turned a lovely shade of orange now as well. I'm very pleased about that. No word on whether this pumpkin was properly pollinated. I tried my best, but I think I might have gone a day early. It was hard to tell in the cold. But, you know, all you can do is your best. And I seem to be getting quite a few pumpkins, whether or not I have this one. Now, my absolute pride and joy over here doesn't seem to be getting any bigger, but it has really maintained that orange color and become rather brilliant and the stem is now changing color as well which makes me think that pretty soon it will be harvest time and I am definitely looking forward to that look at this baby and it's not the only one looking good this pumpkin really has just shot up in the past few days I can't believe how big it is it's so beautiful, very cute, rather healthy looking. Let's hope it continues. Now here are the two pumpkins I pollinated recently. This one is definitely growing and looking fantastic. This one, although it was pollinated with the same flowers at the same time and with the same attention to detail. I'm just not sure. I don't really believe that this one got pollinated. It's strange how nature works out sometimes. But, you know, you've got to appreciate the pumpkins you have. And just keep in mind that sometimes things don't go as planned and that's okay. Time to check on the pumpkins today. Oh, yep, yeah, this one is still looking good. But it'll definitely be turning orange. We'll have at least two orange pumpkins. Awesome. Oh my gosh. It's growing. It actually looks like it's growing. That one was successful. Well, that's a surprise. I'm very excited about that. And here is my beautiful big orange baby. Almost ready to harvest. It's got a nice sound. And it is looking great. I'm so excited. And let's check on the others. Okay, so it turns out that that did not work out. 
That's okay. You win some, you lose some. It's a bit of a surprise though, because this one is growing into a nice little pumpkin already. Both pollinated on the same day with the same flowers and this happens? I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> but that's nature for you. <sighs> but this is the biggest surprise of them all by far. Look how big this one is already. It is almost the size of the smaller green one and honestly almost the size of the big orange one. Maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit but I kind of don't really feel like it. This one, I have good feelings about this one as long as it keeps being healthy. It's got a lot of potential. I mean, it's already yellow. It just, I don't even remember it being very green. It just went straight to yellow. It's going to go rapidly to orange. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. So beautiful. Oh yes, there it is all delightfully orange. Looking good. Let's see. Hmm. It's getting there. And for this little one, I decided it was time already to put out a nice little piece of protective cardboard. Gotta get it all settled nicely early on. Now there are some signs that pests are about, so I've got to keep a lookout because I want to protect these little babies as best as I can. And here is my big orange darling, looking as healthy and thick as ever. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, so cute. <laughs> See those designs? I do love my pumpkins. <laughs> and sure enough, here's what a bud looks like when it's dying. Unfortunately, somehow that one did not get pollinated while its other sibling did. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. I'll be right back. So, you see that weird gloopy stuff down there? It's kind of nasty. That is a very bad sign. Um, there was actually a caterpillar coming right out of the pumpkin and let's see you can yep you can see the hole right there luckily I got it in time before it got inside but I knew there were pests trying to eat my pumpkins not okay with this so I had to take care of that immediately I'm hoping that it was alone and it didn't bring in any other friends I will probably try to plug this hole and see if I can help it continue to grow. But that's not cool. Not cool at all. I hope it's okay. We'll see, I guess. Gotta remove that nasty stuff. And I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard underneath it too. Maybe it'll keep those nasty little pests away. Oh, poor baby. I will try to protect you. This one. This one is the reason I knew there were pests in the first place because the pest is trying to get into this one as well. But I did what I could and we'll see. It's yellow and that might actually not be a good sign like I said yesterday or the day before or whenever that was because supposedly some pumpkins do turn yellow and then turn orange but I don't know if this is one of those varieties since the others are green and yellow can be a sign of death. Not cool. Not good at all. However, there is some orange right around the crown and it's 
a bit orange on the bottom too. So I'm not ready to give up quite yet. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna continue trying my hardest to save these pumpkins. Also, I just recently found out that apparently pumpkin leaves and pumpkin flowers are edible. So, <laughs> definitely gonna have to try those later because that sounds like a treat. Ooh, also, bonus cherry tomatoes. I hope the others turn red soon too. Delicious. It's a rainy day today, but the pumpkins are still looking fantastic. I'm very interested to see how this one's doing. It's hitting, but oh my gosh, if that isn't the cutest little pumpkin I have ever seen, I don't know what it is. Honestly, it looks like a watermelon. I love it. Is it just me or has this one not gotten any bigger? I think it is definitely gonna stay this size. It's gotten quite a bit orangier, so that's exciting, but not bigger. I think we'll let it get a little bit darker orange and then it's time for harvest. This little baby, this was the one having problems. I tried to give it a patch. We'll see if that helped. I'm hoping it survives. It's looking a little bit bigger, I think, than it was before, so maybe we'll have to keep an eye on it. And this one actually seems to be turning orange. It may not die after all. Oh my gosh, what a great surprise. We will see if they can be rescued by force. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased. See you soon. It's time, let's go harvest a pumpkin. Today is harvest day. Not for this one. This one's looking fantastic but I think we'll give it a little longer on the vine. It's actually growing bigger, which is beautiful, and it's still getting a little more orange. Perfect. This little one is still moving forward. It's tiny but mighty, my little watermelon pumpkin. <laughs> surprise, surprise! This one seems to be surviving. It's hiding really well right now. <laughs> there we go. This was the one that was plagued with caterpillars, but it seems like it's healing. It's turning a bit green instead of yellow. And this big old yellow one is holding on too. It's looking quite delightful. And it is still turning a hint of orange. It's not quite strong yet, but it is getting there. It is getting so big. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> and now the most amazing, the biggest, and the greatest, this one. This beautiful orange one shining so brightly. This is the one we're harvesting today. Let's get to harvesting. <laughs> because as you can see, the leaves around it are dying off. And we already know it sounds pretty hollow and its skin is really thick. It's beautiful orange. It's time. So 
I'm going to try with the clippers. We'll see if this works. <laughs> baby pumpkin and it looks so good <laughs> it's so pretty <sighs> look at that color it's so hefty ah I love it so much. Well, this was satisfying. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this pumpkin. Should I name it, eat it, use it as decor, or stare at it for an uncomfortably long time? Well, that's gonna happen anyway. Ooh, girl, how'd you get so beautiful? Spice latte before the spice latte. <laughs> also, if you enjoyed this video, please add a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more videos like this about plants, witchy life, sewing and thrifting, and saving things, of course. I'll be back. No, I will not be back next week. <laughs> I'm actually going to take some quality time off to, you know, spend some time with my pumpkin. Um, and get the rest of my life in order. But I will be back the Thursday after that, so see you pretty soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever you can find that fills you with hope, be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. You know, I think my channel is pretty much 50% pumpkins and thrifting right now, and I'm okay with that. Who's been messing with everything? Your turn! And I'm going to take you somewhere. Why am I taking you somewhere? Oh my gosh, where am I taking you? What's happening? <laughs> and remember my celestial friends. How could I have forgotten my celestial friends? Green wait. I use my magic powers and I grow myself some pumpkins. I grow myself some pumpkins. I grow myself some what? Pumpkins. <laughs>